Hi, I'm David Dodge. Welcome to Green Energy Futures. Keith Hershey has an amazing vision for Alberta's 170,000 abandoned oil and gas wells. His idea is to take the inactive oil and gas wells in Alberta and turn them into revenue producing 750 kilowatt solar farms. Hershey's family still has a farm in the Tabor area, and he got the idea for building solar projects on abandoned well sites from his own family farming experience. And my mom's partly dependent on the oil and gas lease revenue for her retirement income. And as I could see these leases were reaching the end of life, I thought, well, you know, they're going to be abandoning the leases and the rental payments won't come anymore. So that's where I kind of thought this might be a good opportunity. By reusing the existing roads and sites, oil companies will save on reclamation costs, municipalities will regain lost tax revenue, and landowners could replace lost oil lease revenues with new solar lease revenues. It's a win-win. Hershey's company is called Renewell, and after years of work, he's about to start construction of two pilot projects in southern Alberta. Well, the first pilot project is about uh, five kilometers uh, southwest of Tabor, which is my hometown. And, um, and it's on a small acreage uh, market garden uh, farming operation called Longers Farms um, in just outside of Tabor. Picture a square well site and a road on a farm. It turns out you can fit a lot of solar on these disturbed sites and reuse the roads. Yeah, basically we're, we have uh, about three and a half acres in the pivot corner of that field where the, where the old lease was. And it's going to be about, uh, we can get about 900 kilowatts um, on that site. And, um, and as part of this uh, pilot project we're doing this, that's uh, partly funded by Municipal Climate Change Action Centre and Alberta Innovates, um, and then also by uh, Ericcan. 900 kilowatts of solar will produce enough electricity for about 90 homes. After Hershey finally got energy regulators to pay attention to his idea, they really got enthusiastic. They came forward and said, okay, we'd like you to think about doing 100 to 200 sites a year. So it was somewhere between um, 50 and 100 megawatts a year. Hershey was blown away, and he realized that his small company couldn't handle that much work, so he partnered with a big solar company. And so we're working with Canadian Solar on the pilot project, and if the pilots are successful, we're planning a commercialization expansion with Canadian Solar. Um, and that would be on the order of 50 or 100 megawatts a year for the next uh, four or five years. Well, for the pilot project, IRCAN, which uh, is the power generation co-op uh, that's owned by St. Mary River, Tabor, and Raymond Irrigation Districts, they'll be the owner of these solar projects. But we're also talking to a lot of community generation co-ops and, uh, and also some so Canadian Solar is talking with some larger uh, utility scale companies that are looking at this as a way of procuring utility scale projects, so one megawatt at a time. Hershey even thinks oil companies could benefit by building solar on their inactive sites and using the zero emissions electricity to provide power and reduce their carbon footprint on adjacent well sites. In the pilot project, Hershey's also working with Iron and Earth and Medicine Hat College to train workers. We basically built a training program uh, with the MCCAC funding to bring oil and gas professionals and Indigenous workers in to train them in, 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 when they come into a field for abandonment, how do they streamline the process to go from field abandonment to solar construction? The idea sounds almost too good to be true. Take abandoned oil leases, reuse the sites and roads, produce new taxes and revenue from solar, and participate in one of the most synergistic energy transition projects one could imagine. Learn more at greenenergyfutures.ca. For Green Energy Futures, I'm David Dodge.